To some experts, Cardano 88 seems one of the biggest disappointments or failed projects when it comes to the blockchain industry. As one of the relatively early entrants to the scene, the platform has repeatedly failed to dazzle. Cardano shot to fame in its claims of being an Ethereum killer, yet many latecomers such as Avalanche, Solana, and Elrond have offered better ecosystems. Is the zero level the next thing for Cardano? Should investors pull out? Or is this all part of the plan? Mr. Wonderful has something to say about this, so be sure to watch this video to the end. Whether you're a diehard fan of Kevin O'Leary or just curious about his critical views and stances on cryptocurrency, we can all agree that Kevin O'Leary has made some interesting points about this topic in past media. His discussions have always led to surprising conclusions. Dubbed Mr. Wonderful, the Canadian businessman has disclosed that he holds a significant chunk of cryptocurrencies. He stated that 20% of his investments were in cryptocurrencies or things associated with them. O'Leary, who had until a year ago been a tough critic of Bitcoin, has now become one of the biggest voices of reason behind cryptocurrency, strongly backing initiatives in the blockchain sector. To him, although investments in the sector are still a big gamble, he chooses to take the bull by the horns. Due to the recent crash, the crypto market has faced increasing pressure, thereby approaching the bearish territory. With leading assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano going below their all-time highs, fear is growing in the global crypto market. However, O'Leary expects the current downfall to prop up the whole digital asset space in the long term. Long term, you have to stomach it. You have to understand you will give volatility, and some projects are not going to work. O'Leary said in an interview with the Market Insider, The Shark Tank investor believes that the current collapse can help in teaching investors caution and further help to improve the state of the digital assets market. Unfortunately, he seems skeptical about Cardano ADA. And why is it? Well, you guys are about to find out. Kevin O'Leary once said that he was not ready to call a bottom in the crypto sector short of a major negative occurrence. You don't get a bottom until you have an event. In the crypto world, we need someone to go to zero, he said. According to him, such occurrences are not positive for the players involved. These types of panic events define bottoms, as markets capitulate before crawling out of their lows and slowly recovering. It might look too early to conclude, but Cardano's recovery is yet to be seen. Perhaps this is the event that is sinking to the bottom. Cardano's lethargic attitude and failure to evolve have pushed many investors and developers away. For some hilarious reason, the founder of Cardano and his team think the entire industry is wrong. The reaction suggests investors should put up with them, even if they drag their feet for another five years. However, investors are complaining. Three years ago, an investor vented on Reddit, I have invested in this space for two years and haven't seen much adoption of positive price movements. WTF is going on. When will the train leave the station? Why the hell doesn't Charles Hoskinson think he owes investors anything? ADA's value soared in anticipation of the Alonso upgrade, but after climbing to an all-time high, it lost all of its gains. Cardano's consistent dip has become a headache for its supporters and is experiencing a massive sell-off. No one wants to hold a coin that will plunge investments to an inevitable doom. Bruce and discredited, Cardano was looking forward to its upcoming Vassal hard fork to make a case for itself. Rescheduled to July, the hard fork will make the blockchain more scalable, or investors hope it will. Nonetheless, people are having a good time making fun of Hoskinson's delay, only to come up with a copy of Ethereum. Skeptics disagree with Hoskinson's ceaseless claim of building a truly decentralized platform. They see it as the biggest failure in the blockchain industry. Cardano is too slow to rise, one of them said. Charles Hoskinson did not sit still. He attested to the fact that fast-paced crypto developments can raise catastrophic failure risk. If you move too quickly, as we've all seen with Luna, and we've seen with $10.5 billion of hacks last year, you could get it to work until it doesn't, and everybody loses their money, he said. For Hoskinson, the fallout of Luna is an affirmation of a go-slow strategy for building a blockchain. He added that he and his business, IOOG, are slowly growing the Cardano ecosystem, playing the long art game, measured in years to decades rather than weeks or months. We always say it's not first, it is best out of the gate. The people who are going to survive are those who are tested under stress and exhibit resiliency. This is very true. A year ago, in an interview with Lex Fridman, Hoskinson played the devil's advocate and discussed Cardano's potential weakness, which could lead the project to be a complete failure. On top of his list of self-evolution, the inventor of Cardano argued that failure to achieve this could limit the platform's progression. Without this, the system just won't work. The current situation is one of the issues contributing to Cardano's defeat in the market. 
Another potential failure scenario would be for Cardano to evolve backwards. In other words, the platform eventually becomes a centralized network run by a small group of actors. This would be determined by who, how, and when any other person or entity can use the platform. It would be like China's social credit, Hoskinson said. Likewise, a drop in Cardano's network effect could lead the system to death. However, Hoskinson claimed this will not happen. The platform has incredible adoption. There is a robust number of users that will never walk away from the project and are fanboys to the core, he said. Moving forward, he stated that the community must be open and flexible, resistant to dogmatic thinking, and capable of discarding wrong ideas. Otherwise, the project and ecosystem could slow down and adopt a counterproductive position. According to him, this happened with Bitcoin when the community has become toxic and maximalist. Interesting, Hoskinson spilled the problems of Cardano even before they started. The situation is worse now because these limitations were not worked upon. Is the zero mark inevitable for Cardano? Well, Cardano has seen recent developments and bullish momentum all over social media, and supporters have massively emphasized their credibility for the project. When ADA reached its all-time high for a short period, it stood among the top four cryptocurrencies. After that, the market correction pushed ADA back to sixth place. Some people focus on Cardano's failure and potential zero level, while some refer to it as the spirit of the blockchains. Indeed, Cardano's ecosystem has witnessed some unprecedented level of development within the ecosystem. The development activity has hit all-time highs as ADA's team worked on innovating regardless of the price. Developers working on the network continue their work despite their suppressed price actions. This has been the case for Cardano for years now. Given the nature of the crypto market, there is always a possibility of a potential correction. If the bulls fail to bring enough demand backed by volume, the token might roll down, probably down to the nest. Cardano enthusiasts may not be happy with the current performance of ADA, which has shredded a significant percentage of its value since the beginning of 2022. But that doesn't mean that they've lost hope in Cardano. Like most cryptocurrency projects, Cardano usually has made significant efforts to protect ADA from every form of ridicule from supporters of rival cryptocurrencies. Digital currencies including Solana, Ethereum, and Cardano were shaded in a recent tweet made by Mike Alfred, founder of crypto data analytics firm Brightscope. According to him, these cryptocurrencies are no match for Bitcoin. While Afrin noted that Solana is broken and Ethereum is associated with high gas fees and stated that the price of ADA will eventually go to zero. Solana is broken, Ethereum gas fees are so high that it's essentially unusable, and Cardano is going to zero. Meanwhile, Bitcoin issues a new block every 10 minutes like clockwork. This isn't rocket science, folks, he said. The post did not seem to go down well with members of the Cardano community, who rallied around the post in defense of the ADA coin. One of Cardano's supporters stated that the post was insulting to the community. My man sneaked in a Cardano insult. Funny how it's something as irrational as going to zero. Zero downtime, active deployment, active scaling, most decentralized proof-of-stake non-custodial staking, an unmatched community, transparent roadmap, low-cost, sidechain enabled. The motive of this comment is to prove that Cardano has performed well in various aspects. Cardano is considered a grossly undervalued cryptocurrency at its current price following the crypto project's developments. The network has been active for the last five years without experiencing glitches, and it has a strong network of supporters. Slow and steady wins the race. Cardano is probably not the coin O'Leary was referring to, but it remains to be seen. But as always, let's have your thoughts and opinions about Cardano potentially bottoming to zero. And make sure you click on the subscribe and bell buttons.